What's up all you cool cats and kittens? I'm Trey. And I'm Allie. Welcome to CAN Bus News. Um, so to start off, we should all be wearing masks when you're in the barn or at the hub. Um, we have some free masks laying all over the place. When you're on the bus driving, your mask shouldn't be down like this. It shouldn't be hanging to the side. Um, just because when the public sees that we're not wearing masks, we can get complaints. Um, so just remember to wear your masks properly so you don't get in trouble. Also, the dispatcher has a extra pack of uh, new cloth face masks that you can pick up that are extra uh, reusable for you guys if you uh, need them. Just go ask the dispatcher for them and they will sign you out a pack. Um, also another thing we want to talk about is remember to not become displacement this summer. So one thing we want to talk to also mention is we don't want you guys to become complacent this summer. Um, we want you to make sure you're continuing to drive well and continue to use those good skills. Remember, look ahead, um, leave room. Those are your good information gathering tools. It's really important that you really utilize those while you're out there driving. It's really hard to make good decisions while you're out there driving um, or drive in a quality manner if you're not uh, looking around and just understanding and gathering information. Leave room. That's all about just giving yourself as much space to execute whatever decision you made as well as give yourself space in case anything happens. Remember to always leave room between bicycles, pedestrians, cars, whatever it is. Always give yourself an out no matter what situation you're in. And just remember to communicate with others around you, whether that's you're turning on your blinker to go around other cars or telling passengers, hey, you should contact the dispatcher because I can't really answer your question or really whatever it is, it's just will help you out. Just please don't become lazy just because it's summer. We really still want to see you guys' best quality driving. Um, if anything, it's easier than ever to show your, put your best foot forward and just show um, everybody that you can be a great driver, that you can be the best driver that you possibly can be. Um, we also want to talk about getting enough sleep uh, before your shifts. Just because it's summer, the bars are open, you're going out with your friends, having bonfires. Just make sure you're not coming into work fatigued. Um, if you believe that you're too tired to come into work, just let the dispatcher know. Uh, however, that should not be an issue. You should be getting enough sleep before your shift. Also, remember to check your mailbox at the office. Those things have been looking really full lately. Um, you should be checking your mailbox at least once a week. Every time you come up for your shift, get your temperature checked. Just walk back there real fast, check and make sure you don't have any mail. There's a lot of really important time sensitive information there, um, especially um, anything that like a supervisor might give you or something like that. Those can be really time sensitive. Usually within like one or two days, they're expecting responses. So please, please, please check those out and make sure that you are doing those. We also want to make sure that we're wearing appropriate clothing and shoes. Um, it is definitely sandal season, so make sure you're wearing closed-toed shoes when you're coming to work and when you're walking around the barn. Also, um, ladies, we should not be wearing shirts that show our tummies. That's against the rules. I know they're super cute, but keep those at home when you're coming to work. Also, now that there is uh, summertime, there's a lot more people out and about, and with this upcoming uh, fall season, as well as people starting to return back to campus, we are really uh, emphasizing that people, as well as the university as a total, emphasizing that people start uh, bicycling more places, walking, taking, being more pedestrians. Um, basically, overall, we're going to start to expect to see a much higher uh, uptick in pedestrian traffic, both bicycles um, and just pedestrians walking down the street. So really make sure you're taking extra care while looking at crosswalks. Um, always making sure you have at least three feet of space between you and any bicycle. Um, always double, triple checking those bike lanes. Always make sure you're 100% sure that nothing's in there before you ever enter that bike lane. Um, checking your mirrors before you even start merging, things like that. Um, it's going to become a real hectic season, both for the rest of the summer and this fall. So really make sure that you're doing your part and helping with um, this whole COVID thing by making sure that you're doing your part and helping people out with both transit wise and just being safe and wearing your mask and things like that. Um, on a more higher note, I'm proud to announce that we have uh, hired a bunch of new support members. Starting off with the trainers, we have Allie Hopkins. Uh, we also have Kobe Groom and James Reese. So please tell them congrats when you see them. And for dispatchers, we have Luke Doyle, Levi Cole, 
and Breed Club. So please remember to give them a big shout out, thanks, and congrats um, as you're gonna start seeing them behind the dispatch desk. When you're pulling into the island at the barn, just make sure you're not parking behind buses. If there are already two buses there, we should be parking on the island three wide and two long. Just because if we're parking three long, um, it's hard for the A-side buses to back out and there can be collisions. It's just really unsafe, so be aware of where you're parking on the island. Have a good week. What's up, all you cool cats and kittens? I I'm Trey. <laughs> it's been five seconds and I already messed up.